Hey, welcome back to China Tech. Now the Miu Mini is already a great little device, but there's a really common upgrade that can take your Mini from pretty cool to a flat out awesome mini gaming handheld. Of course, I'm talking about Onion OS. Onion OS is a custom community operating system built for the Miu Mini that completely revamps the software on your device. It gives you access to things like fast forward, instant game switching, deeper customizations, and heaps of performance improvements. Overall, it's pretty incredible, and today I'm going to walk you through step by step the full process for installing Onion OS onto your Miu Mini. Now, I've just got a quick disclaimer before we begin. Even though these instructions are simple, it's really important that you follow them correctly. Overall, this is one of the simplest custom firmware installations I've ever done, so I think you'll be fine. With all that out of the way, let's begin. We've got four main things to get through here. Firstly, we're going to back up our original microSD card. Then, I'll show you how to update your Miu Mini to the latest device firmware. From there, we're going to prepare a new microSD card for our Miu Mini. And finally, we're going to install Onion OS and play around. All these steps are also available on the Onion OS GitHub repository, so you can also refer to that if you need. I'll have a link in the video description. So let's start by backing up the microSD card. This step is really simple. First, click the microSD card out of your Miu Mini, then plug it into your computer. And from there, we just want to copy all the files from that microSD card onto a safe location on our computer. This is backing up all the files on our microSD card, and this is going to give us something to go back to if we screw anything up in the following steps. Some of these files will also come in handy for our new Onion OS installation. This step can take a while, especially if your microSD card is loaded up with ROMs, so just sit tight. My microSD card had about 35 gigabytes of ROMs, which did slow things down considerably. Once all that copying is done though, our next step is to update our Miu Mini to the latest device firmware, which is a required step before installing Onion OS. To do that, head over to the link in the video description for the Miu Mini firmware update and download the main firmware file. There's also some instructions in that Google Drive, but basically what we want to do is extract the firmware file and then copy it over to the root of our Miu Mini's SD card. Once that's done, we can eject the micro SD card from our computer and plug it back into our Miu Mini, but importantly, do not turn on your Miu Mini. Instead, leave your Mini off and plug it into the charging cable. Your Mini will automatically boot up and start the firmware update. The firmware update does just take a few minutes. When it's done though, you'll see this custom charging animation start to play. Once you see this, you can unplug your Miu Mini and it will automatically power back off. Now, just plug the Mini's SD card back into our computer and delete that firmware update file. Then finally, we can plug our SD card back into our Miu Mini and boot it up ourselves. You might notice it booting up a bit quicker and in the device info, you should see the new firmware version listed. Depending on how Miu continues to update the Miu Mini, you might find this step changes a little bit. I've put a link in the video description to the Miu Mini subreddit. Give that a quick check before you start this whole firmware update process, just to see if anything's changed since I filmed this video. With that though, our first part is done. Our Miu Mini is on the latest firmware, and now we can move on to preparing a brand new SD card for Onion OS. Now you might be wondering why we're preparing a new SD card. Why not just use the original SD card that came with our Mini? It's possible, but the SD card that comes included with our Miu Mini is generally pretty terrible. It's prone to failure and memory corruption, so I think it's better to get a fresh new SD card from a well-known brand and use that instead. Whatever SD card you're using, we first want to format it, making sure to select the FAT32 file system option. Then head over to the Onion OS GitHub repository or the link in the description and download the latest Onion OS release. While you're there, maybe just double check the readme and the release notes to see if there's any extra steps you need to perform. At the time of filming though, all you have to do is download that latest Onion OS release, then extract the files and copy them over to our new SD card. We also want to copy over all of the retro route cores from the backup of our old SD card as well as all the ROMs. Copy all of these files and paste them into the BIOS folder on your Onion OS SD card. While they're all copying over, we can copy over our ROMs too. On our backup SD card again, open up the ROMs folder, and then for each system that you want to play, you want to open up that folder and copy across all the games that you want to the corresponding folder on the Onion OS SD card. It is annoying, but you can't just copy across the whole ROMs folder because Onion OS uses a different folder structure. This copying can take a while, and it mainly depends on how many ROMs you're copying over, as well as the speed of the micro SD card that you're using. 
For me, this all up took about 30 minutes. Once that's done though, we can plug our Onion OS SD card into our MIUI Mini and boot it up. If everything's gone well, you should see an Onion OS logo appear and the installation process will begin. It does take a few minutes, and during the installation process, some handy info will appear describing some of the main features of Onion OS. Once the main installation's complete, a few final info screens will appear, as well as a screen to select the emulators you want to install. With that though, the Onion OS installation should be complete. That did take a little while, but the good news is you only need to do all this once. Updating Onion OS is a much quicker and simpler procedure. Now that we've finished up with that installation though, I wanted to walk you through some of the key features of Onion OS. There's too many small tweaks and improvements to go over, but there are a few big features that I think you'll really like. The first is called Game Switcher. Game Switcher lets you instantly switch between your recent games and pick up exactly where you left off. For me, this means I can die in all three Contra games in record time. Game Switcher also automatically saves your game state if you exit back to the menu or turn off your MiU Mini, which can be handy to make sure you don't accidentally lose any progress. Another feature I've been using heaps is Fast Forward. Fast Forward is a game changer for RPGs like Pokemon and Onion OS lets you easily toggle it on and off using a simple key shortcut, Menu plus R. There's actually a whole list of shortcuts that Onion OS uses the menu button for, which can make it really easy to access things while you're playing a game. Fast Forward's one handy shortcut, but others include things like saving and loading save states and accessing frame rate information. Another thing I've loved about Onion OS are all the new themes. Onion ships with heaps of new themes that aren't in the stock OS, and it also lets you slide load your own themes that you can create or find online. I'm gonna have a more in-depth theming video coming soon, so keep an eye out for that, but I've really been liking this theme called Analog for its clean and minimal design. And now the last major feature I'll touch on, and one that I was really happy about, is system-wide game search. Finding a game on the stock OS can be pretty difficult, especially if you have a large game library. Onion OS makes this much, much easier by letting you search your entire game library to quickly find the games you're after. If you've only got a few games on your mini, this might not seem that useful, but it helped me a lot to search through the 14,000 games that came preloaded onto my MiU Mini's SD card. Now this video is getting a bit long, so I'm gonna start wrapping up, but I just want you to know that there's a lot more to Onion OS that we don't have time to cover. There's heaps of extra features, things like a music player, guest mode, an activity tracker, and heaps of little settings to let you perfectly customize your MiU Mini. That's it though, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below. And I'd love to hear in the comments section what you think of Onion OS and what your favorite feature is. With that though, I just wanted to say thanks for watching and I'll catch ya in the next video.